No more Berbers, let's kick them out. Yeah, Genoa holds Tunis. It's weird. I don't have a claim on it or anything. I could fabricate on it. Gives us something to do, maybe. So, I'm thinking we do just declare war on these guys. That or the Ottomans. Yeah, I think we just quickly declare war. Let's just do a, you know, a little casual war. Quick war. Casual quick war with, with the Ottomans. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Wouldn't you agree? Avoiding strong enemy? Come on. We're Spain. Just... We have Spanish artillery. We just murder everything. Stop being scared of pointless shit. It's dumb. Also, do we have forts where we need them? We could use a fort in Lucania for sure. I think we're out of fort slots in a lot of places. Get a fort here. And let's also get some more forts in Denmark, just so that he's not going to get sieged out when we do other wars. And I'll put forts here as well. Then, uh, I want to check to see if we're doing alright on fort maintenance. Fully maintained forts is only at 0.51, so we're at half of the required level forts. So let's just upgrade some ex the existing ones for now. Landers did a thing. We're paying Diplo points because why? Because we're over. The, we have a, an extra Diplo policy on. That's reasonable. Why is this army already here? You can't be there yet. That's wrong. Alright, I want Bosnia back. This is going to be the quickest little, it's just the quickest little tiniest war against the filthy Muslims. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Look at this, we get a straight shot right to his capital if we just land over here. It's great, it's perfect. Who shall lead us to the war? Uh, let's pull the drill guy off. Let's find the worst general. No offense, but that is Mr. O'Green Worldism. Right Ahada, he's going to lead us. Oh, green worldism, go drill until you've got more pips. Helvesa is here. Alright, this black flagged army is gonna go there, then come back to Vienna. Vienna? Apparently, we have an ally. We can call Russia to this war? Alright, sure. I mean, he forced me to fight him. I'll force him to fight him. Seems reasonable. Take Miltech one year early? Sure. Alright. Let's have you. Do those things. Do that thing. We have better artillery now. Nice. <laughs> You're supposed to be drilling. Why aren't you drilling? Somehow the Ottomans have already sacked Zagreb. That was pretty quick. I don't believe that the Ottomans are going to even try to fight this army, despite having a three-star general. 
There's just too many potential bodies nearby for him to, to deal with. So our goal is going to be to just creep this army forward one province at a time so we get to the capital, then we'll barrage the capital and be done with the war. Relatively straightforward. Trying to hold defensive terrain as well as part of my goal. I just see that we were attacked in Bas in Pasai. What the hell are we doing over here? Oh, Pasai's in the war. All right. Forty-six heavies versus sixty-three galleys. It's horribly cost ineffective, but I don't care. I have such a stupid income compared to them that I'll just build more and whatever. That's the war goal, so we should go siege that. Get it ticking up. Let's get a claim on this. All right, what are we looking for now? Tunisian separatists in Morocco can't get to them. It's kind of funny. Get the occupation of the war goal. We got his capital. We've got Russia in the war mostly to provide relative strength of the alliance just to make his enthusiasm go down faster. The fact that these guys are annoying my fleet is, well, annoying. He probably has, yeah, he's got a lot of heavies. This is a hundred and some ships, though, so... Yeah, half price, um, I'm gonna probably promote this guy, but I have loans right now, so I was kind of wanting to delay it. 20 ducats a month is kind of a lot, still. Gonna hold out for another week. It's gonna be a tough fight. The naked treasure fleet has arrived. If we had had that army there in time, I think we would have been alright. We are not stuck behind zone of control, but he is. Taking advantage of the fact that I can't reinforce out here very well. And he assaulted Constantinople back. It's just, you know, like the quickest little, little swore, no big deal. It's fine. He just stack wiped like 80,000 troops. No big deal. Those Spaniards gave their life willingly. Getting annoyed with him actually being able to kill my navy. You want me to just... Fine, I'll train like... 300 galleys. How's that sound, Automan? Is that what you want? Damn it. Now we're the defender 
The aggressor, rather, in mountains. I get the hell out of here. The hangout and hum until we can get some reinforcements over. Yes, of course. Of course, he's loyal to Riga. I only invested tons, but Riga. Makes sense. That took him surprisingly little time. Moist noble rebels have spawned. <laughs> this is kind of dangerous. Yeah, this army's gonna die. They've just waited. Waited for the reinforcements. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Floating Hedgehog. <laughs> Been watching your stuff for years. I like dropping this off here. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. That army's gonna die. Should have stayed in the mountains. This fleet is no longer in supply range because we don't have these these provinces. Let's just have them all go over here for now. And he did. Let me try to invade Besai. Size capital. That's still probably going to be a lost fight. Damn, we were like one day away from maybe having the fort too. Excellent. Nice. Disease outbreak on that entire army. That's cool. Damn mountain forts, man. They're tough to take. It's like he cancelled military access on my army behind me. I'm gonna send a single stack down to here so that I can reset this entire army's return province and pull it back to a safer location since it's stuck in this zone of control over here.
Am I aware that at least one of my subjects is not Catholic? I am not. Which one was it? Bosnia is Catholic. Croatia is Catholic. Pomerania is probably not Catholic. He's Catholic. Denmark is Catholic. Croatia. Pancakes and Cure. This guy is Anglican for some reason. Wrong. You're wrong, religion. It's like the Russians are actually applying some pressure to him now. Which is helping out quite a bit, allowing me to push over here. Need... I could use another general, honestly. But I don't really want to pay for it right now, because we're, we're below 80 and we're already at our leader limit, because our, our admiral just will not die. Although, despite having an admiral, he can't ever seem to win the damn naval battles. Here, like I said, I'm gonna build like 300 galleys. Like, there's like 300 of them. It's 94. It's a good starting point. I need more. I need all the galleys. Many factories have spawned. I'm surprised we didn't get that, honestly. I have a lot of many factories. Where did it spawn? In Brussels. All right. Well, I have many factories in all these places, that's why it's spreading, so it won't take long to get it. Clearly, I should have spent less money on universities and more money on manufactories. Evan point cap? Yeah. There, fixed. Screw you, Ottomans. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? I'll fight you in real life. We'll pile all the bodies into this. I don't care. All the Spanish children. Every single one of them will partake in the battle. <laughs> against the filthy heathen Sunni peoples. Burn your damn capital down. and then immediately suffer a disease outbreak. It's just my luck. Game's not very nice to me sometimes. My light fleet continues to try to murder itself. Cool. Normally the light fleet's safe because it's fast, but because it occasionally captures ships and gets slowed down, it constantly takes dumb fights when it shouldn't. Alright, well I don't really care to break this country or anything, so...
seems reasonable. What's the purpose of this war with the Ottomans? Mostly just to return the cores to Bosnia so that I can integrate Bosnia and feel like I'm not wasting my effort in having tied that relationship slot up. And just to show the Sunni people who owns this land or something. It's just a it's sort of like a delayed crusade. He deserves it. Now we can integrate Bosnia for 57 Diplo points. <laughs> it's not even very good land, I know, but... Yeah, we got other wars to do. Need to fill in all this stuff over here, colonize more, we've got to... 15 states owned by Spain need to have holy orders. So I just gotta do more holy orders in this area or something. Papal influence. Cool. That makes 26 out of 34. Eight to go. Las Islas Filipas. Need to conquer some crap over here. Colonize California. Colonize and do stuff with the Filipinos. Beyond that, we still got to destroy the uh, HRE New Kingdom of this. We need to have five states in this area with holy orders. I probably could have satisfied it in this region as well, huh? These are some great states. Every single state is five. It's like every single one has five things in it. Five provinces. They're huge and awesome. Under Diplo Power, 25 legitimacy. Okay. 27. Next. Spanish Netherlands. Conquer this little bit. I need to build heavies again. Those two are pretty easy to accomplish if we just focus on that. Austrian succession is... I have to own basically this part of Austria. He's not the emperor, but... Then I've got to conquer pretty much all of southern England. And of course we've got to destroy the HRE. But that's about as much of this as I can handle for today. I'm <laughs> tired of this. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of this. So that was good. Need Vienna from the Ottomans? I'm sure we'll find another reason to fight him soon. Thanks. This is mine now. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break from this for, for now. Man. I was just thinking... Imagine how strong we would be if we hadn't spent 40 years forming Spain. Or, yeah. 40 years basically becoming Castile. At the start of the game. If we had that extra 40 years to colonize and... Stuff. We'd be stupid strong.